Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin charts together. I'll be going over my current trading position, uh, the smaller term and medium slash higher term time frame look on this Bitcoin chart, how we've got a little bit of a move within a move and I'll explain that in a bit more detail as we move along and uh, obviously ladies and gentlemen you are here right now watching this video for the most professional and accurate levels and technical analysis on YouTube. So if you enjoy that, smash that thumbs button as hard as you can, smash the thumbs, give the video a like, and let's get into the analysis that we are all here for. So obviously going to start on the bit of a higher term time frame here to give some perspective of where we are, where we've come from, and you know, what's the most probable next. And it all obviously stems from Oh, really simply, we, we have been in this, this should be no surprise to anybody that's been a subscriber of this channel now for at least two months, because we've obviously been in this range now for two months. So we've been trading it, one of the best in the space. Look for longs down at the lows, look for shorts up at the highs, don't we? And if we add on the parallel channel that we have been trading, surprise, surprise, we are up at that parallel channel high. So obviously this is a resistance level, no? And well, really simply, <laughs> we look for our longs at the lows, shorts up at the highs. And where's your best potential for swing trades? It obviously naturally is at the lows and, and at the highs. Um, but we have a little bit of a, we had a golden ticket trade off of this. So not only, ladies and gentlemen, were we up at the high, okay? Not only were we up at the high, but we had one of the champion trades, swing failure pattern, swing failure pattern, pattern of the month right now, no? getting them all the time. Uh, so obviously this is the first high off of that same parallel channel. That's the high where we obviously had the high of our parallel channel. So if we zoom in here, remembering that's the high, we zoom into the, let's just say 15 minute chart. We formed an exact double top, which we all know how I like to trade double top balance. We formed an exact double top before swing failure pattern that high at 4.45 a.m. Well, this was personally a trade that I had been waiting for. Well, I mean, when I had first started seeing this, I mean, I've probably been waiting for this trade a good, uh, you know, good month, <laughs> to be fair. I've been waiting for that trade a good month off of the off of the range high. So I've been, there was just no way in the world I was missing that trade, even though it happened at 4.45 a.m. on a Saturday night, Sunday morning. Yes, even at that, even that hour, I was up ready and waiting for this because I just said to myself, I'm just not missing that trade because I've been waiting for it too long. So I was up at 4.30 a.m. And this is the bit of the magical thing. Up at 4.30 a.m. saying, let's go. Late night swing failure pattern is on its way. And then obviously we got that swing failure pattern 15 minutes later. But as you can see here, people making sure they're really aware what's going to be looking for here. A spike above the highs before back down below. That's obviously our short trade entry. Obviously, this has went very well as we're all the way back down below 40K again. But really simply, it was just ready and waiting for that entry. Yeah. So, you know, you can start to come in 10 minutes before the move, making everybody aware what's going to be happening here. Or let's just say... Of course, I didn't have 100% guarantees, but I had very high, high, high probabilities here. And well, really simply, I got exactly what I wanted. We got the swing failure pattern when you come back down below. I'll, look, I'll show you this on the one minute chart because as I was saying, I, I've already gone through this in the Champions live stream, but just for the people that weren't in it, obviously you come back, you get your spike above when you're back down below. Any of this region is fair play for the short, in my opinion. And well, the rest really is beautiful history as we made our way quite swiftly, obviously now down to around uh you know down to we're currently sat at 39,400 so this is what i find very interesting so if you come to the 15 minute chart we might actually have to go to the five minute chart here to emphasize this you see how this was almost arranged within itself so you have the high you have a low zone you have your low zone here and your high zone here and this obviously ended with your uh, let me just emphasize this for you. You obviously have your high here. You've come down and you've spent some time around the lows before I move back up to the high. Swing failure pattern even of this mini range before down. And we know that this was not just the mini, but this was a massive high term time frame high. So a very, very, very important level. But what I find very interesting is we have the exact same uh, scenario happening right now. We have our range low here. Yeah, so we have our range low and we have our range high. And what similarity do you notice here? Well, really simply, there's our high. We've come down to our lows. We've bounced around the lows and you've made your way up to the high. And what happened here? A swing failure pattern of the range high. So what could have you done here? Very simply, a, 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 a sculpt short at the very least. 
And what's happened, you've come down to your range low, where naturally one would say that's a take profit. You know, if you did short that swing failure pattern, this is naturally a take profit. And so if we zoom back out, just remember that this is on the five minute chart. But when you look at this exact same price section on the four hour chart, can't you notice the similarities here with, you know, this is where people say, oh, you can't trade the one minute chart. How, you know, how can you trade the one minute chart? Well, it's the exact same price action on the one minute chart as it is on the four hour chart. It's just on that, you know, one to five minute chart, you're getting a lot more trades a lot quicker. But the actual theory and price action and, you know, steps to taking the trade are exactly the same so you know there's, there's always that argument oh, how how can you day trade how can you scope trade you know it's too it's too random it's too much of a gamble well the, the, the truth is it truly isn't this is exactly the same price action it's just you get the trades a lot quicker uh, <laughs> pretty simply put um so yeah, as I said at the start of the video, I'll explain the current short that I'm in. Obviously, that is, I've explained that hopefully well enough. It wasn't too difficult. It really wasn't. It was just a swing failure pattern from the range high. And uh, what were we looking at now? Well, I, 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 in my opinion, we have a little bit of weakness here. Uh, where would I like to see this go in the short term? Well, I'd like to see a little bit lower, wouldn't I? Um, a few levels that we can be aware of. Obviously, the most simple one that I think we can be aware of here locally is obviously FIB from the low up to the high. And that's going to bring you down to your CC region. Um that's obviously coming in at around 38,500 for the low there. So that, that would be pretty nice. Obviously, you know, I'm not going to, um, you know, I'm just going to say we obviously have this mini range here. So we can, we could, we could remain within this range for another, well, I, I, I suppose a, a sensible time would be for the US Open. Yeah, we got the US Open in a few hours. Uh, one, one, I personally am expecting volatility on the US Open today. Uh, we should see a volatile Monday, obviously ES currently up, uh, but you're obviously seeing a bit of weakness across oil and gold, well, oil, quite big weakness today, gold, not so much silver obviously pretty steady the bitcoin futures have obviously got all closed all those gaps so you had a minuscule gap and that's obviously been closed so yeah i think we want a bit of a volume injection here so one would like to see that around the us open i'd be very content if we get that obviously we could then look for our break of this range let's say we do remain range bound for this um you know one would then we could look for the break of that range uh, going into the US or, or in the US Open, in my opinion. And that would obviously, if we break to the range low, we have the CC below us. Obviously, if we break down, we have levels below. And if we break to the high of this range, I really think, really simply, we could be looking back up to this old SR flip. Yeah. So obviously, we had this brilliant, brilliant level here, which was resistance back into support. And then if we break the range high here locally, we can just look up to our next level, which would be around $41,000. No. And naturally, if you break $41,000, you can look at your next level above us. And so it's a, it's a really is a level, level to way of trade. Yeah. So you have your ranges. If you break the range low, you look down to your next level. If you break your range high, you look up to the next level. If you break that level, you look up to your next level above you. If you break this level, you look down to the next level below you. It's, it truly is a very sophisticated way of trading or it's not really, I don't even, yeah, is, is that the right word? It's not really sophisticated. It's just, it's just a good way of trading. So you're never left on the edge of your seat. Like, you know, you're not going to be one of these people that when you're at the range low saying, oh, we're going to $25,000. And when you're up at the range high, they say, oh, we're going to $100,000, you know, spot the emotional trader. Um, you know, you just have to be remain calm, collected and, um, you know, really simply trading the charts, really simply trading the charts. And I know I can make it seem pretty easy, I think. <laughs> but you have to remember, I've been doing this for many years and, um, you know, with, with experience comes calmness, I suppose, uh, you know. At the end of the day, we got our levels to trade and we'll trade the levels. Yeah, it's just as simple as that. OK, I don't think we need to be extremely bullish, extremely bearish. If we start to reclaim resistances as support, yes, we can be bullish and we can look for much higher levels. But what's the point in looking for $100,000 while we're below like $50,000? It just doesn't make sense, does it? So, um, yeah, trade it level to level. That's that's probably the best tip I can give you in this video. Ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, I'll say it again. Absolutely smash that like button. Um, you know, it really helps with that YouTube algorithm. And obviously... We don't have the um, we don't have all the moon boy stuff going on in here, so we have a we have a battle in itself trying to keep it real. Uh, so yeah, if you've enjoyed it, smash the like, ladies and gentlemen. I obviously have to stress as well, though, not financial advice. I do these videos to try and help you gain some knowledge, some insights, you know, because I hope you know I really hope our viewership is the type of person that really truly does want to learn and better themselves. So. 
Yeah, I hope to have provided you with some education here, gone through a few different trades and patterns that you can now definitely should be aware of. And those are obviously our swing failure patterns, our mini ranges. And if we break these ranges, you know, look for the next level. So we know if we break up. Anyway, I've already done it. So thank you, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video that we do. If you want those real-time insights, that's obviously for the Champions Group at chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed and have a brilliant day. Goodbye. Cheers.